when it comes to protecting your Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and other standard sized trading cards. Double sleeving offers some of the ultimate protection for your collection. However, there is a new variety of inner sleeves on the market today, and even new innovations such as side loading inner sleeves. Knowing which product is right for you can be a difficult task, which is why this video will compare and contrast the inner sleeves offered by Max Protection, as well as those offered by Star City Games. This video will also examine the new side-loading Ultra Pro Pro Fits, as well as the Ultimate Guard side-loading Precise Fits. Let's take a look. One of the biggest issues with inner sleeves is getting uniformity of size. Many of the inner sleeves I have reviewed in the past would be too large or too small for the cards, and sadly that same issue is present with the Max Protection Perfect Fits. Some of the max protection inner sleeves slide on correctly, some slide on far too easily, meaning they are slightly large, but most problematic are the ones which either cannot comfortably fit the card at all, or require the card to be forced inside, which leads to bending and warping of the card. Now I'm gonna withhold my grade on these sleeves until the end of the video. In fact, I'm gonna withhold my grade on all of the inner sleeves until the very end of the video. Why? Because there is a very important test that I want to run with this selection of inner sleeves, and that's the water test. I want to see if, were there to be a spilled drink on your table or some other calamity with liquid, that a double-sleeved card is actually going to be reasonably protected using these products. And I want to do this water test at the same time for each of the four brands that we're looking at. So the grades will be at the end after the water test. Let's move on to Star City Games. Now these inner sleeves were indeed all uniform. There were no issues with any being too small or too large, and the sides are sleek, smooth, and very nice. There's one very minor issue here, and one legitimate one. Let's start with the minor one. Notice the top of the SCG inners here? See that odd white I am going to assume it is something relating to bonding, but whatever the cause is, it is present on all the Star City Games inner sleeves. Compare that to a KMC perfect size, no discoloration along the top whatsoever. Now this isn't a significant issue, but here's something that is noteworthy. Compare the bottom of the SCG inners to the KMC. Notice how the SCG inners are exactly at the bottom of the card, whereas there is the smallest amount of space with the KMCs. In other words, the inner sleeve on the KMC dips down just a smidge below the bottom of the card. This is a very critical component to have because remember, when you double sleeve, what you want to do is create the ultimate protection for your card. And how you are doing that through double sleeving is by having the only opening into the inner sleeve at the bottom of the outer sleeve. And this creates a kind of seal between card and the exterior so that if water were to spill or any other substance that's going to get into your card, it has to travel, first of all, all the way down to here before it's even getting into danger of coming in contact with your cardboard, but then it's going to have to penetrate this seal. And if you've got that little extra bit of inner sleeve, that's keeping your card all the more protected, making it all the more unlikely that water is going to come into contact with that cardboard. Or again, we've talked in the past about bits of debris and dust which can apply pressure that might scratch up the card. That's going to get in when you're shuffling. I mean, there is not a 
tightly clasped seal at the top opening of the outer sleeve for any brand, nor do I imagine there's a way to make that happen. And so there's always going to be some possibility of something getting in. So what concerns me about the Star City game sleeves is that by having the bottom of the inner sleeve exactly along the cardboard, well, what's happening here is that this part of the card is not really covered by the inner sleeve. It is simply exposed along the bottom. And were there to be any water to enter that outer sleeve or other disaster, it would immediately come into contact with that cardboard or highly likely to do so. Here we have the side-loading Ultra Pro Pro Fit sleeves. The opening runs entirely along the side of the sleeve instead of the bottom, and thus your card is inserted sideways. When putting this inside of a sleeve, it means that there is no issue with the inner sleeve slightly sliding off. It's a problem we've seen a lot of inner sleeves have in the past. Unfortunately, a lot of other problems are now present. First and foremost is that a larger area is unprotected than with a traditional inner sleeve. So instead of just the bottom of the card being exposed, now the entire side of the card is exposed as opposed to just the bottom. And this is running right up along the side opening. There's no excess of inner sleeve, and so the entire side of your card is essentially vulnerable. And this is true of the Ultimate Guard side-loading sleeves as well. As with the Ultra Pro, these are acid and PVC-free for archival storage, and they too load your card in via the side. But there is more wrong here than just the wider area of opening. So, when you sleeve a card in a side-loading inner sleeve, look at this, right up along the side, the card is essentially vulnerable. And so when this is put inside of the outer sleeve, there is no distance that anything would need to travel, such as a liquid, before it's going to come into contact with this sleeve. And unlike a perfect fit, try doing this with, say, a KMC perfect fit. I have one card sleeved here. Well, it's an incredibly loose opening. This is the Ultra Pro, by the way. And I can put two, look at that. Let's see if I can get a third. I didn't actually test up to three. Yeah, it's not even difficult. I'm not even pushing hard. Three, probably that's the limit. Four, four cards pretty comfortably inside one of the Ultra Pro side-loading sleeves. And what I'm seeking to demonstrate to you with this is that this is not a tight, snug fit like it should be, creating a seal with uh, the outer sleeve, but rather this is open, this is loose, it is the act of double sleeving without any of the protection of double sleeving. Here is an ultimate guard. Let's see if I can just, I wonder if I could just put it all in at the same time, oh my goodness, this Ultimate Guard feels even looser than the Ultra Pro. And there goes four magic cards. Tinfoil hat time. My belief is that it's very hard to manufacture perfect fit inner sleeves, which is why the only inner sleeves that I've ever given an A to so far are the KMC perfect size inner sleeves. I think it's very hard to get the measurements that exact at that level. And I think that a few companies ha had the idea of, ah, if they loaded through the side, it wouldn't matter if the sleeve was a little looser. We could have a lot more leeway here because no matter what, when you push it down, the card isn't going to slide out. And so they found an easy way to manufacture it, which, as I said, robs it of its protective qualities. I don't know that that's the case here. It is interesting that all of a sudden, several companies came out with side-loading inner sleeves. Time for the water test. If you want to see how the KMC sleeves did in the water test, you can view that video here. And in that video, I was so confident that the KMCs would protect the cards that were in them that I had no problem submerging a foil planeswalker in that video. For this video, I am using proxy cards with the names of the companies on them. I'm submerging them simultaneously so that we all know that they had equal time underwater. I also think that the gold border will show any water damage a little more clearly on camera than a black border.
The Star City Games card is completely damage free. I can see immediately that the max protection is damaged along the bottom. I think it is fair for buyers to be concerned that even when a sleeve appears to properly fit a card, if there is an irregularity in size, bending it perhaps if it's too small or allowing too large of an opening if it's too big, that you're going to essentially disrupt whatever seal you hope to create by double sleeving, or it could simply be that with the max protections it didn't even properly cover the bottom. The Ultra Pro is damaged along the side because of course it is. There is no proper seal or protection for these side-loading cards. And yes, the same goes for the Ultimate Guard. The side is damaged from the water. There was no reason to sleeve with these side-loading inner sleeves. I would like to say that, as of now, Talarian Community College has an official stance that is against side-loading inner sleeves in general. If more companies continue to manufacture them, I will of course continue to review them. But, in my evaluation and opinion, Inner sleeves should not be side loading. Grades, max protection, fail. Star City Games, B minus. They protected against water damage and were uniform in size. I don't know what the discoloration at the top is, and I do feel the bottom could use just a bit more sleeve. The Ultra Pro side loading pro fits, fail. The Ultimate Guard side loading precise fits, fail. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. A list of these grades, as well as all grades for all products that I have reviewed, is coming to TalarianCommunityCollege.com in the not-too-distant future, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm here with LSV. First of all, <laughs> what is this shirt? Uh, this, is, this is a shirt from my image that gets frequently posted in Paul's stream, in Chion's stream, uh, by Parties Unknown. So. This is a horse, and this is Paul? Yes, yes. Uh, I, I can't really explain it, but uh, he doesn't like it. Is it more important for you to have a, a good pro tour or to troll the most people? A good pro tour, but who's to say you can't have both? Okay. <laughs>